is making headlines on the front page of Nigerian newspapers. And I begin with the first news newspaper. The major story here says Naira abuse. Another celebrity Cubana chief priest risks jail to be arraigned today. The writer there says faces a three count charge of spraying, tampering with Naira notes at social function. Governor Jay in fresh trouble as Kanu files new corruption charges against him. Uh, that's another story there. NNPC, NNPP crisis worsens as factions suspends Kanu governor for six months. Pankwasiya movement reacts, says it's joke taking too far. They are clowns. 2027, stop incessant contest for PDP presidential ticket group tells Atiku. All right, federal government begins disbursement of 200 billion naira palliative loans. This is some of the stories you find on the front page of the first news newspaper. We'll move now to the front page of the blueprint. FIRS at single window project launch. Uh, Nigeria loses $4 billion to import export in inefficiency annually. Uh, the, that is what is being set there. Portal tackle challenge uh, stimulate FDIs. Tinubu is saying that's the president. Now, 2024 flood forecast. 148 local governments in 31 states. 249 others. Federal capital territory at risk. Uh, the federal government is reporting that. Now, Biosa, Cross River, Delta, Lagos, three others to experience coastal riverine flooding. All right. To get more details, you can pick up uh, the Blueprint newspaper. We'll move now to the Nigeria News Direct. And uh, the major story here says Tinubu launches policy to curb over $4 billion revenue loss to import export infractions to boost trade, generate $2.7 billion revenue. Now, Naira trades below 1,000 Naira to a dollar in some segments of parallel markets, appreciates by 6.28% on NAFEX. NAFEX a report is saying that. APC National Working Committee reacts to alleged suspension of national chairman as party chieftain. Others call Kenduje to step down. Those are some of the stories you find on the front page of the Nigerian News Direct. To the Business Times now, defending the Naira. Experts warn against ongoing depletion of foreign reserves. And the writer there says charge federal government CBN to focus on other ways. Borrowing to defend the Naira has potential consequences, Adaka is saying. Nigeria to generate $2.7 billion as Tinubu launches single window initiative. And at NIMET, Agri Ministry to strengthen partnership towards improving agricultural production. Those are some of the stories you find on the front page of the Business Times. To the Guardian newspaper, endless enrollment gulps. 57 billion naira in 13 years amid complaints, protests, talking about biometrics and SIM registration deadlock. And there's the infographics there. Now, um, the reps, caucus gives uh, Tinubu ultimatum to end insecurity. PDP governors at Ikuwiki camp intensify positions at Mig Omar uh, Neck. Lagos court sentences Carpenter to live jail over defilement of six of uh, primary six pupil. A sad one there. We we'll move to the salient times. Despite <coughs> persistent increases, IMF projects decline in Nigeria's inflation to 26 percent. And uh, hmm. diamond dumpling providing lifetime experience and elegance and candor. All right. Like Bob Risky, EFCC to arrange Cubana. Chief priest for Naira abuse. Kaduna Assembly probes Eurofice loans direct the committee to summon ex governor. Inspector General of Police visits Ogun pledges to end kidnapping. We'll move now to the front page of the Platform Times. IMF raises Nigeria's 2024 growth forecast to 3.3%. Another story First Lady launches 60 million Naira initiative to empower Southwest women in Ogun. And that's the picture there on the front page. All right, we move quickly now to this day newspaper. The major story there says, uh, Lukwobiri, Nigeria has lost uh, 34 
A billion dollars in oil output decline from delayed Seplat ExxonMobil deal says production from assets fell to 120,000 uh, barrels per day from 600,000 barrels per day. In six countries, output could rise by 5 million barrels per day in 18 months. And the picture there is talking about the launch of a Renewed Hope Initiative Women Agricultural Support Program in Ogun State, where the First Lady um, launched the program yesterday. Now, another story, Wike backs Damagum to retain seat at Governor's Scramble, as Governor's rather Scramble for his replacement. Some stories you find on the front page of this day newspaper, Ibrahim. The Matrix is uh, next. Nigeria's economy in right direction. Finance Minister Wale Edo boasts, says exchange rate stabilizing, revenue up, food inflation <coughs> slowing, fuel subsidy, fresh controversies emerge. Another insider says federal government to spend over 7.2 trillion naira on fuel subsidy by May. Says NNPC remains sole importer of petrol because there is subsidy on petrol, so price has to be pegged. Kubana chief priest, uh, Detained ahead of arraignments today, Tinubu launches National Single Women Initiative to enhance revenue generation. Champions League, two teams qualify for semi-final. Next is the Nation newspaper. Student loan scheme set for takeoff with 1.2 million beneficiaries. First Ladies RHI empowers 120 Southwest women farmers with 60 million naira. Kaduna Assembly. Uh, raises 13-man panel to probe finances under El Rufai. IMF projects inflation decline to 23%, 18% in 2025, 2026. Dangote refinery crashes diesel price to 1,000 naira per litre. How Tinubu is getting security economy right by Omokri. EFCC arraigns Kubana chief priest for naira abuse today. Next is the Vanguard newspaper. Food inflation slowing, federal government's revenue rises. Edo targets more foreign investment inflow. IMF raises forecast for Nigeria's economic growth to 3.3%. Fresh herders attack, 26 security personnel, mourners, others killed in Benue. Kano, anti graft agency, files fresh charges against Ganduje. Uh, VP Shatima, Governor Bago, Ayo Teriba, others to grace Vanguard Economic Summit. Also, PDP neck Atiku, Wike's loyalist in battle for parties. Dangote refinery slashes diesel price to, by 16.6% to 1,000 naira per litre. Next is this Nigeria. Food prices crashes, uh, crashing over economic policies. Edo, finance minister at IMF meeting. Food security, Nigeria requires both. Uh, requires about 312,000 metric tons of planting seed. EFCC arraigns Kubana chief priest over Naira mutilation may face imprisonment like Bob Risky. Wiki one satellite towns coordinator against negotiating with contractors. NEC, federal government pays 205 billion Naira per subsidy as this goes withhold 50 billion Naira in third quarter of 2023, 148 local government areas fall within high flood risk areas, federal government warns. The Punch newspaper is next. Federal government writes governors as agency predicts flooding in 31 states. Uh, federal government agency lists local government in Akwa Ibom, Lagos, Adamawa Ogun, Benue, 26 others as high flood risk areas. PDP NWC submits report on Wiki as NEC meets on Thursday. Blood on Chidima's dress marched Ataga's DNA. Experts. UCH denies harboring Yoruba nation agitators. NDLEA destroys 304,436 kilograms of illicit drugs in Lagos. $30 billion laws. Federal government may revoke unused oil well licenses. 27 states fail to access 54.9 billion naira UBEC fund. Marketers excited as Dangote lowers diesel to 1,000 naira per litre. Next is leadership newspaper. PDP 
NEC meeting, 24 hours to go. Atiku, WK comes, go for broke. Respite as Dangote crashes diesel price to 1,000 naira per liter. Tinubu launches national single widow project. Save rice processors from collapse. Stakeholders beg federal government. Nara abuse EFCC to arraign Kubana chief priest today. APC stakeholders condemn purported suspension of Ganduje. Naira dips to 1,050 Naira as foreign reserves deplete to seven-year low. Next is New Telegraph. PDP reps caucus, uh, caucus meeting ends in commotion. Flood alerts. 31 states, 148 councils risk heavy flooding. Federal government warns. FG now pays about 600 billion Naira monthly for fuel subsidy, Raynaud CEO says. Maritime, Tinobu unveils single widow facility to curb $4 billion laws. Study, going to bed late tied to childhood obesity. IMF raises Nigeria's economic growth forecast by 0.3%. Next is Daily Independent. PDP reps divided as party holds make or break neck meeting. 60 PDP reps insist Damagum must go. Uh, Damagun must go. Call for a North Central chairmanship. Disciplinary action against Nyesam Wiki. NCAA suspends three private jet owners over violation of certificate. Export import hurdles. Tinubu targets bridging $4 billion laws to bureaucratic bottlenecks. Federal government project uh, suspends mining activities in OAU. OAU THC. Next is Nature News newspaper. Climate change, Governor Yusuf to plant 10 million trees in Kano. Water Resources Minister warns of impending floods in 31 states. SGF urges more funding for climate actions in Nigeria. Ahead of Azerbaijan Environment Minister, stakeholders dissect COP28 outcomes. AFDB's additional Tanzania president to co-chair summit on Dean Cooking in Africa, clean cooking in Africa. Uh, Agri Ministry partners NIMED on climate forecasting for food security. Fact check is urine the best skincare treatment. <laughs> Next, last but not least, is sports in uh, the nation's sporting life. Osimen joins Fireboy DML Amushan. It will be set to release new music soon. Interesting. The Foxes. Uh, bank on Ihe Nacho, talking about Leicester versus West Broome. Uh, Forest risk losing Aina for free. Chelsea trigger contract extension for £195 million. Pounds grow. That's about it for uh, the newspapers up for review. Nigerians are up to date, I believe. And then, Veronica, I'm not sure whether urine is the best skincare treatment. I wanted to ask you I because. You're going this I just said you're going, so I no, I ask. don't use urine. I don't. <laughs> no, I, I just wanted to ask. No, I, I just <laughs> answered you because your mind was asking me, even if you were not saying it, and I'm trying to clear the air. Now. I so, don't so use. Are you reading minds now? Are you a mind reader? Sometimes, from what you said. Okay, I'm thinking about something now. Do you know what I'm thinking about? I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> 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 but you know how humans are, they keep experimenting mm -hmm. with one thing or the other. This is not the first time we hear about yeah. people using urine for one thing. But uh, 